Hey everyone, welcome to today's episode. It's gonna be a little different one here today. I've got, uh, instead of a customer's vehicle, I've got my own 2016 Toyota Corolla here I'm gonna be doing the interior on. Uh, you might be saying, hey, Scrap, you're a detailer. Your interior should be immaculate. Well, uh, I think we all know construction people that uh, whose houses should be updated, that you, you get done with your job uh, during the day, you go home, you just don't wanna do that work anymore. Uh, and that's kind of the same thing that's happened to my vehicle. I'm gonna try out this uh, Tornador. Heard, again, really good things about it. Got compressor, I've never used one of these. So, the compressor. Kind of interesting, we'll see how this works uh, on the vehicle here today. There is filth in the floor mats. They're all weather floor mats, so fortunately, uh, it protects the floor pretty well. I gotta get the salt out of them, get them cleaned up, get the dust off of these panels, off the trim. Extract, like I said, there's a couple of spots on the seats that I need to take care of on the driver's seat. Uh, I've got to take blame for all the mess in here. Got a little bit of work done on the inside here. This torn door does a nice job. Uh, there's also a version of this that has, uh, you can put cleaner in it, solution. Uh, so it's, it's a pretty handy little tool. Um, something that I'll definitely use to blow off the trim so I don't have to go out the detail brush and vacuum it. It'll save me some time uh, in that regard. So all in all, uh, I think it was worth the, I think it was uh, $60 for this. Uh, it's a pretty solid piece of metal here. So the only concern is this, uh, cone on the front is plastic. It's pretty heavy duty plastic, but uh, still just want to make sure you don't uh, set this down somewhere you're going to step on it because you could break it.
This stain in the trunk is some latex paint that I had spilled a couple of years ago. I didn't think I'd be able to get this stain removed, but with the solution, the steamer, and the extractor, I was able to get it pretty much completely removed from the carpet. Now that the trim is all cleaned up, we hit it with some uh, 303 airspace protectant to give it some UV protection and kind of bring that natural uh, glow or shine back. Well, this detail is about complete. I've got the windows done. I've got everything treated in the inside. The last thing I did, I didn't put it on film, was I went around all the door jams and I used some quick detailer and wiped them out, got them looking good because one thing I always notice when you open a car door, I know I didn't get to wash the outside. Uh, I'll take that through the uh, touchless car wash later. But the door jams, when you open the doors and you see those jams looking nice and shiny, uh, I think that just makes the car kind of look a lot better. So made sure to go along and, and, and wipe them out with some quick detailer, you know, blowing out, making sure not to have any rocks or anything. But all in all, I think this detail turned out pretty well. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Until then, keep it clean.